all or most of the nation's oil comes to refineries. A refinery is simply that, a place where crude oil is refined into the many kinds of petroleum products we need. Crude oil is a mixture of compounds, and here it can be separated into the petroleum products consumers and industries want, and the ones that are most valuable in the marketplace. When you look at a refinery, most of the distinctive towers you see are tall distilling towers like these. The shorter stacks, vessels, and equipment are used in the many other refining processes. The oil comes in by pipeline, and condensates may come in by tank truck. Normally, they go first to a distilling unit. The distilling process is based on a simple fact. The hydrocarbon compounds that make up crude oil have different boiling points. Just as water eventually would boil off and become vapor at the boiling point of water, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, these compounds also have points where they flash or vaporize. By determining just what that temperature or temperature range is, refineries can harvest many desirable hydrocarbon products from a single batch of crude oil. Chemists know that lighter oils boil or vaporize at lower temperatures. But it takes very high temperatures to reduce the heaviest oils and their solid carbon residue to vapor. Each batch of crude oil is different and will produce a different set of fractions. When these compounds leave the distilling tower, most go on for further processing. Butane and lighter gases may be sent to gas processing. Straight run gasoline for motor gasoline blending. Naphtha for catalytic reforming. And kerosene for hydro treating. Light gas oils will be sent for distillate fuel blending and heavier oils to what is called a cat cracker where heavy molecules can be broken apart to yield lighter compounds. And straight run residue, the solids or heaviest residue of the crude oil, can be sent for high heat flashing. Some of the fractions of crude oil that left the well site go on for still further processing at a petrochemical plant. This plant may turn crude oil fractions or their cracked or processed derivatives into the feedstocks that will be used to create the many products we need today based on oil. Plastics, detergents, solvents, fertilizers, synthetic rubbers, and synthetic fibers.